I can always tell how good our power player is by how many members of our staff want to go to the interview. Well, everyone wanted to go this week. So enjoy our power player of the week. Sergeant Chesty the 13th, the mascot of the U.S. Marines. This English Bulldog is the face of the Corps. The mascot is involved uh, in a number of official functions here in Washington, D.C. We are proud to introduce the official mascot of Marine Barracks, Washington, D.C., Sergeant Chesty the 13th. Engaging with senior level leadership, engaging with government officials, when we bring guests here for official functions, he's one of the most popular figures. Captain Jack Norton is the public affairs officer at the Marine Barracks, which makes him Chesty's spokesman. Sometimes they're tough to get along with, and sometimes, you know, they're, they're kind of grouchy. But at the end of the day, they're always going to be there for you, and they're going to accomplish the mission. But there's about to be a changing of the guard. Chesty will retire this summer, and recruit Chesty, who is now in boot camp, is expected to become a private in April, training to take his place. He's getting history classes. He's been through the home of the commandants. He's getting indoctrinated in his surroundings, uh, getting indoctrinated into the discipline and esprit de corps that we do with all of our recruits. Sergeant Chesty? Huh? There you go. There we go. Chesty has his own uniform complete with sergeant chevrons and service medals. As for recruit Chesty, let's just say he's got a ways to go to match up to the sergeant. We're looking at him to kind of mentor uh, this young recruit and kind of set a positive example for him. Well, he's got big paws to fill. The mascot tradition goes back to World War I, when the Germans called the Marines devil dogs. In the early 20s, Private Jiggs I formally enlisted. In 1957, they changed the mascot's name to Chesty, after Lieutenant General Louis Chesty Puller, the most decorated Marine ever. And they take all this very seriously. We have had him busted back uh, in rank before. And how do the dogs take it? <laughs> <laughs> well, Marines typically don't take it well when they get demoted. So it's, uh, you know, it's, it's a message. We can't have a mascot running around biting, barking, and doing things that, uh, that they're not supposed to do. But that's exactly what Sergeant Chesty did last summer when he went after Defense Secretary Panetta's dog at the Friday evening parade. He barked and, and lashed out at Bravo, and it was a little bit of a tense moment. This is challenging civilian control of the military. This was right there in front of the Secretary of Defense and the Commandant of the Marine Corps. After the breach of protocol, there was speculation Sergeant Chesty was being forced out. Actually, he was promoted to sergeant after that. So there is no truth to the rumor that it's a forced retirement. Whatever the reason, this pup should be the new mascot, Chesty the 14th, by late August, with as many as five public events a week. Chesty is a great way to represent the more than 200,000 Marine sailors and civilians who make up our Corps. Um, is he's got a very important job, and so you know we're happy to have him. One of my favorite power players ever. The Marine mascot generally serves up to five years, as Chesty the 13th did, which, as we all know, is 35 years and a dog. So the sergeant has certainly earned 